Cell phones in the classroom, it's just one of the changes being considered for Orange County's student code of conduct. Board members will discuss the final wording that could potentially ban cell phones while students are in class. This comes as most of Central Florida districts return to class on August 10th. New 6's Jerry Askin spoke with a school board member and parents about these proposed changes. Jerry? That's right, Lisa Matt. Good evening. That school board member gave me a lot of perspective ahead of that vote tomorrow here at OCPS headquarters surrounding the cell phone usage in class. We spoke with many parents today, too, who had a lot of reaction. It's totally a distraction even for adults yeah. at work. Not in the pockets, but at least the book bag. I don't think she should have it on her because it's also a distraction. Orange County parents we spoke with are reacting ahead of a school board meeting Tuesday where school board members will finalize the cell phone policy for students. What are you all voting on tomorrow? New cell phone policy for the whole district. We are going to require students to put their phones away when they come to school. It's either going to be in their backpack or in a purse, and we're still deciding whether or not we're going to allow students to put it in a pocket. School board member Karen Castor Dental said whether or not kids can have their phones in their pockets have garnered a lot of debate. It currently says students can have cell phones, but they must be silenced and concealed, and they can't be used during the school day. I prefer that they don't have it in a pocket just because it's too accessible. They can feel it when it's buzzing, it's distracting. And then there's also the issue of a, a smartwatch, which I don't find is as, as distracting. So I'm, I don't think we need to restrict the use of the watches. New Six was at a workshop earlier this month as school board members discussed the topic. Pocket to me is an option for, a, you know, for a student that doesn't have a backpack. Shadrika Davis agreed and told me it shouldn't be so accessible, but she likes the comfort of being able to communicate with her daughter in case of an emergency. As a single mom, I feel like that just give me the security to let me know that she's okay. Yeah, back live here, that school board member said she's heard a lot from teachers about wanting a more consistent cell phone policy. There will also be discussions, I'm told, about consequences for students who go against this policy. That meeting is set for 5 o'clock tomorrow, happening here at OCPS headquarters. We'll let you know what happens and keep you posted. We're live. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6.